It's very easy. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer money from your bank account into your Vanguard account. Because I've actually gotten questions from people um, trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I got another question asking if you can actually get money directly from your employer, from your paycheck deposited into your your brokerage account. The answer to that is yes. Um, you have to go into your brokerage account, get your account number and the routing number and hand that to your employer go to your hr department and give them that number and tell them how much you want uh deposited into your brokerage account and they'll put that money into the account um each month for you it makes it a lot easier for you to start investing when you do it that way because you don't even get to see the money it doesn't come into your into your main bank account before you transfer it just goes directly and you can start investing it and if if you automate the process once the money gets into that bank account it buys a particular fund that you want so it's so easy guys but in today's video again like i said i want to just kind of walk you guys through the different steps that you go through transferring money from your bank account into your vanguard account to get you start uh started with investing so let's jump on the computer and just go through it so here we go guys so as soon as you go to vanguard.com log into your your account what you would see is uh, the different accounts that you, you own. So it could be uh, just a, a brokerage account, an IRA account, which could be a Roth or a traditional, um, a, and maybe a 401k account. Which are other accounts that you have in there, you should see that list of accounts, um, and that will give you an idea of where you want to, to put your money. So just like it says here, um, what you want to do is select the account that you want that money to go into. So make sure you select the right account. Uh, because um, one thing I've tried to is like you can't really move money between two accounts so you cannot move money from your uh, traditional IRA account into your Roth IRA account within Vanguard you have to go back to your bank account and then into the, the other account so make sure that you're selecting the right account um, at this stage once you uh, you've identified the right account you click on next that will take you to this uh, second screen in here this is uh, where you want your money to go so do you want the money to go into a money market account or do you want the money to go into a specific um, um, fund Are you, do you want to buy a specific fund um, the money market account is a fund too um, it pays about 1.55 percent uh, return which is not a whole lot but that's where they hold your money so you can decide where you want the money to go and and i'll say even if you're not ready if you're still thinking of which funds to buy please put that money in that market account to get it out of your bank account into the money market account because once it's sitting in there you know for sure now i have to make use of this money i have to research and find the right funds to invest this money uh, it's not in your bank account where you can easily spend it so so you choose where you want it so in this case let's say you want to buy a specific fund and then you have to just select um at another uh vanguard fund a mutual fund once you do that then you click on next that's going to take you to page three so now this is where you want to select the, the exact fund that you want to invest your money into you can put uh you can enter the name of the fund if you know it you can enter a symbol or a number if you know it so most often than not it would be the symbol or uh, that most people would enter if you've done any research beforehand but if not you just type in uh something like let's say um s p 500 or 500 index or you can put the the symbol in this case it could be voo um that's an that's an etf or vtsax now these are um, a standard um index fund that people buy especially folks in the fire movement so once you put it in there it, it would pop up it would help you populate so that takes us to the to the next screen um so once you, you type see it starts to populate and then you can select the funds that you want to invest in and so if, you, if you're investing in an index fund notice here that um you have a minimum of three thousand dollars to invest and a minimum of ten thousand dollars to invest uh the amara share is what i'll say is for big boys people that have a lot of money so they reduce the expense ratio so if you look at the expense ratio for the amara share and just the standard um, um the, the, the standard fund Standard fund index, their expense ratio will probably be about 0 0.04 or 0 0.05. Um, and uh, the, the, the same fund in an Amira would be uh, 0 0.03. But because they know that you're investing a ton of money, so they, they, they'll get 
some some of that money from you so that's just the way to look at so when you look at this number here don't don't be scared that you don't have ten thousand dollars if you have three thousand dollars you can select um uh this one v f i a uh, i n x select that one and invest your three thousand dollars then when you get to the point where you have ten thousand dollars then you can select uh the v f uh, i a x so that would be the way to go and if you don't have ten thousand dollars you don't have three thousand dollars no problem guy use etfs you do voo um, or vti there's so many good etfs that you can try in that case so once you select the fund that you want you click continue that's going to bring you here to the next page um where you have to now enter the exact amount that you want to transfer how much are you looking to invest so in this example here we're using fifteen thousand dollars but if you had three thousand dollars you enter three you had five you enter five you have ten you enter ten whichever amount you have you select that amount here enter that amount and then click continue and then that would bring you to this page um and once on this page you're deciding where the funds are coming from so this is where the transfer actually takes place so the funds are coming from you can select so you have what you, here it says um your settlement fund that is your money market account within vanguard that's where whenever you transfer money and you don't buy anything it sits in that account uh, but in this case you bring it directly from your bank account so you select your bank account and then click continue and that brings you to this last page where you review it um, and then hit submit and then at that point you have actually um, uh, bought that particular index fund and it would be in your account and then once you go into your account it's going to show you something like it's processing so these are some of the funds that i have in my account um, but you you would see the list of the accounts here and it will show you for 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 index fund it will show you that it's still processing until it's processed then you, you are good to go or, or in most cases if you didn't buy anything see up here it says your uh, vanguard federal money market account the money will sit in this account until you decide to spend it and buy an index fund or etf or maybe just an individual stock to invest in so that is the simple step of how to transfer money from your bank account into your Vanguard account. Transferring money from your bank account into your Vanguard account is very easy like you guys have seen. It's a very easy process. Um, just go uh, chronologically and um, normally it takes about uh, two or three days for that money to get transferred before you can actually um, see it. So uh, be patient sometimes because okay? sometimes you think you can just transfer it, it will be in your account immediately. Um, within that window, they have a clearing window. So Vanguard goes to your bank, asks for that money that you authorize them to pull it. Um, your bank has to approve and let them take that money and then they come and deposit the money into your account. Make sure the money clears that you're not pulling money outside. Um, you're not pulling money from an account that you don't really have. So they have to make sure that all that's clear. So you have a clearing window, which is about three days. But after that, the money gets into your account and you can start investing or buying stocks or buying funds or just uh, putting it uh, in your money market account just so that you can use it to invest or uh, to time the market so that's it for this video guys so let me know in the comment section what are some of the challenges that you're facing getting started with investing again let me know in the comment section guys go ahead and give us that thumbs up if you like this video share it with one friend and as always stay motivated